Hello, my name is Shanti Srinivasan. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine in the Division of Digestive Diseases, Department of Medicine, Emory University, Atlanta. I've been asked by the editors of Gastroenterology to give a brief summary of our recently published paper titled Gut Microbial Products Regulate Murine Gastrointestinal Motility Via Toll-Like Receptor 4 Signaling. This work was done in collaboration with Dr. Andrew Gewertz and Dr. Vijay Kumar at Georgia State University. The first author of this paper is Ms. Malapa Anita, and this work was done in collaboration with the late Dr. Shanti Sitaraman. My laboratory focuses on the enteric nervous system and how it is affected in diseases such as diabetes and inflammatory bowel disease. The enteric nervous system is the intrinsic nervous system of the gastrointestinal tract. Gastrointestinal motility disorders are associated with significant morbidity and a key reason for outpatient clinic visits. Tone-like receptors are pattern recognition receptors involved in innate immune responses. Toll-like receptors have recently been demonstrated to be involved in regulating intestinal epithelial homeostasis. In a study to examine the role of TLRs or toll-like receptors in regulating gastrointestinal motility disorders in diabetes, we found a distinct phenotype in mice lacking TLR4 or to the toll-like receptor 4 knockout mice. We therefore went on to study the role of TLR4 in regulating gastrointestinal motility. First, we evaluated the gastrointestinal motility in TLR4 knockout mice. We found that these mice had a reduced stool pellet frequency, delayed intestinal transit, as well as reduced colonic motility. Associated with this, these mice had reduced nitrogic neurons in their intestines. In addition, TLRs are known to signal through the adapter molecule MIDE88. We examined the gastrointestinal motility in MIDE88 knockout mice and found that they also had a reduced stool pellet frequency and delayed colonic motility. Finally, we generated a mouse with enteric neural crest specific knockdown of MIDE 88. In these mice also, we found delayed intestinal transit and reduced colonic motility similar to the TLR4 knockout mice and MIDE 88 knockout mice. We know that gut microbiota signal through TLRs. To further understand the interaction between enteric neurons and uh, uh, the gut microbiota, we examined the intestines of germ-free mice. We found that four-week-old germ-free mice had reduced nitrogic neurons similar to the TLR4 knockout mice and the MIDE 88 knockout mice. Further, to understand the interaction between gut microbiota and enteric neurons, we treated wild-type mice with antibiotics for 12 weeks, and in these mice also, we found delayed colonic motility and reduced nitrogic neurons. Finally, to understand the mechanism of the interaction between uh, the back, uh, gut microbial products and enteric neurons, we treated enteric neuronal cultures with lipopolysaccharide. Lipopolysaccharide or LPS is a TLR4 ligand and is the major component of the wall of gram-negative bacteria. We found that uh, enteric neuronal cultures treated with low-dose lipopolysaccharide um, had improved neuronal survival. In conclusion, our findings demonstrate that lack of TLR4 is associated with delayed uh, intestinal motility and that TLR4 signaling is important in promoting enteric neuronal survival. Our findings implicate a role for bacterial neuronal interaction and a role for gut microbial products in regulating gastrointestinal motility. In diseases such as irritable bowel syndrome, we know that the intestinal epithelial barrier is compromised. 
uh, probiotics have been shown to be beneficial uh, for patients with irritable bowel syndrome and we feel that the bacterial neuronal interactions we find in the uh, intestine may be the mechanism for the beneficial effects of probiotics. Thank you.